A witcher. Oi! Oi, witcher! <laughs> what is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. Already sus. I love rain. So what's the matter? You see that knoll beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till one day we awoke, and bam, there were a tower atop it. Then all of a sudden lightning started pounding down. As if the Noggle Fair itself was sailing in. It hasn't stopped to this day. Something's got to be done. About the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish nor sail out to raid. Hmm. You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door. And that's when our knees turned to jelly. Why? Because beyond of that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it were magic. Gathered five brave lads and they all marched in. Ooh, this is no interesting. Sign of them since. Ooh. Fine. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your eye around for the folk from our village. Our druid and five good lads. Ah, oh, it'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Hemdel, guide you. I love these kinds of intriguing quests. With a lot of mystery. Ooh. I love how they also programmed for this quest to be in the rain, I assume? Portal, ooh. Okay, what, what's all the way on the top? Can't, can't get to the top. A portal, shit. <laughs> Same. Great, portal closed. Hmm. Looked smaller from the outside. Intruder detected. Cease your intrusion, leave at once. Failure to leave when summoned. Yeah. Intruder neutralization commenced. What is this, Resident Evil? Not bad. Self destruction initiated. Someone's come to free me. <laughs> he got locked in Famous here. Witcher at that. Thank the gods. I'm damned lucky you happen to be in Korea. Was it King Tancred who sent you, or the Society of Magic? Neither, and we're not in Korea. We're in Skellige. Local folk hired me. See, your towers brought a massive storm to their island. We're in... in Skellige? So we've teleported... He's a mage, so... Oh, this is much worse than I thought. Golem imprisoned you? Let me guess. You lost control of the golem. Imprisoned you here, then attacked me. My, no, that's not it at all. The golems are but one of the tower's defenses. Part of its defensive regulatory magic on. What? A defensive system. Magic. Ensuring only the tower's owner will use it. When it detects an intruder, it locks down all the rooms, denies access. And since neither of us is the tower's owner, 
the golem attacked me and you're stuck behind bars. How do we evade its other charming features? We must deactivate the defensive regulatory magic on. The tower's prior owner wrote a treatise about removing such defenses. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. There must be a copy in the tower. Find it, please. With it in hand, I can try to circumvent the security measures. Send you home and take the tower back to Kavir. Hmm. You clearly know who I am. I don't even know your name. Sego Bunts. Mage and sorcerer in residence at the court of Pompvanis. This tower was to be my new home. Bought it at an auction, you see. A tower at an auction? It belonged to Gottfried Stamfeld, a mage of some renown. When he passed on, his heirs auctioned the edifice off. They were all wary, repulsed. None dared see what Uncle Godfrey kept in his colored jars. If it was their contents that had stripped him of his sense of smell and taken his left eye, they put the tower on the block, along with all it contained. The price was unbeatable. I couldn't resist. Knowledge. Seen my share of wonders, but a tower that teleports itself? That's something new. This defensive regulatory magic on. I tried to access it. Must have heard. Initiated some evacuation sequence. That opened the portal and jettisoned us through to Skellige. This, in turn, naturally generated electromagnetic disturbances. Hence the storm. Oh, and it's storm raining. I promised to dispel. Mm. Then you must find Gottfried's omni opening grimoire. Some folk from the village came in here, right? Their remains lie beside the golem. They came in a few days past. I was surprised to see their garb. But it just never entered my mind we might be in Skellige. There were just a few. Led by a druid. The tower warned them. They failed to heed. Folk on On Skellig usually laugh in the face of warnings. If the tower had asked nicely, then offered them a horn of mead, they might have left then. Right. Time to get out of here and send this tower home. Where do I look for Godfrey's treaties? Any ideas? Hmm. The library might be a logical place to start. The key should be in the laboratory. Where's that? As you enter the room opposite, you'll see the laboratory to your left. The library straight ahead. But remember, you're an intruder. The tower is certain to want to stop you. Make things difficult at the least. We'll see who breaks first. Try to smash that barrier. Oh, interesting. Intruder. <laughs> Can I walk this? Hello? <coughs> hmm, there's another way over there. It started the, the whole lagging thing. These guys hit like a truck, from what I remember.
So he's just summoning magical creatures. Someone's cow just disappeared, I guess. Insufficient resources to continue. Ah, so now we go this way. rest for an hour so I can refill my potions. Yay! Intersections and geomantic lines. Not what I'm looking for. So Kavir is uh, like the land of mages then. Looks like he's suffocated. Horrible way to die. See. Gotta keep looking. Godfrey's on the opening grimoire. This is it. <laughs> annihilation. Damn tower wants to gas me. This is where they flee to. Oh, oh yeah, it would be safe for them there. Golem probably greeted them too. Find the tomb. This it? It is indeed. Now back away a bit. I must deactivate the barrier. Where did he do that before? Gyat. Open. There. At last. Not easy. The hardest part is yet to come. We must reach the heart of the tower and cast a deactivating spell. The tower will surely do everything in its power to stop us. Lead the way. Can he wait for me to the for a second? Chamber. Try to power down the security measures. The defensive regulatory. Yeah, okay, hold on. Hold by you, if it is Advigiat. He's like a battle mage. too bright. Taunts are so funny sometimes. Defensive Just <laughs> full heartedly insulting. You piece of goddamn. Ooh. Stutter. 
stagger or whatever it's called. Defensive regulatory magic Godfrey's treaties proved highly useful. It's over. Had you not arrived, I'd still be in that cage, surely. It's a trifle, but take it, please. Proof of me gratitude. Thanks. Though I'd be more than satisfied if you calmed that storm and took this tower somewhere else. Consider it done. And should you ever visit Kuvir, do stop by Pompvanis. Aburagi, Barathean. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, what about me? Oh, <laughs> it's a flashbang spell. Uh, not this way, the door. <laughs> Honestly, same. I hated that. Ew. I hate portals. They stress me out. You're alive, and in one piece. One soaking wet piece. Will you teach me to fly? <laughs> Another time, maybe. Never seen such marvels in me life. Boom, flash. Tower disappeared, and you was fallen from the sky. And the storm, gone in an instant. Now, oh, didn't I tell you? It's what of which we needed. Hey, can't do better than an expert. And expert work deserves a fitting reward. Thanks, but you need that coin a lot more than I do. Not enough that he's handy. He's noble, too. Oh my god, it's Jennifer's voice actress. What? <laughs> Found a mage in the tower. He was just as eager to take it away from here. Uh oh. Me generously for my help. If that's so, we've not left but to say our thanks. Hey, well, if you ever come through here again, stop in. You'll be welcomed with open arms. Thanks. Farewell. Wait, Witcher. Did you happen to see me brother in there? Burns his name. He went in with the druid and a few other lads. I found your friends. All dead, unfortunately. Sorry. Told him not to go. It's better this way. But he wanted glory. So he doesn't wait, you know. Let's yeah, they are now. out there. No point standing here. So he's gonna have hope that they will come back. It's not well, fair. Witcher. Thanks again for helping. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Oh, is it happening now? Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Ooh. Maybe I'll stop um, by some time. Some other time? Need an exception for me? Krach, make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, mead and blood flow in <laughs> Yes. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? Nev. No. <laughs> Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. 
Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Weren't your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? Get him, Queen. So you'll fight the Vilgards with me. Wonder who'll do better, you or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting. Cyrus, hey, ah, damn it. Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that. But you saw her, she's so, so. Why, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly. Have <laughs> <laughs> a cheesy Ooh, line. <laughs> Me and Cyrus, well, they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. This is it. never crumbled. Game, stop it. Something I've always wondered. Where are these goblets from? So this is a separate quest? What am I doing right now? Help resolve matter of successor. We like this. Okay, how do I do this? Do I talk to Graf? Yes. Oh, no, you drink last week too. Could hear the black one's ship from a. Why are you here? I guess I will just talk to Graf then, because I'm not really sure what to do. Everyone is dancing all over the food. I'm sure they love it. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Hmm. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Hmm. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. There is. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Look at this Giga Chad. You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. 
In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote'll turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Hmm. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to Wench? that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Supports Farnrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. Has it never happened before? But today I see, and with I'm not alone, women? that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, mm -hmm. not a force in the world could Queen. stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful craftsmanship. Ooh. Thanks. I'm New the one. sword. What's happening? That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Did that woman, like, rile up some people or something? Or what is happening? So, oh my god, it's so dramatic. I love it. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What? Uh, but, huh? <laughs> Where did the bear come from? Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Uh, Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. <coughs> Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Uh, uh. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I would not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. 
Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. Yeah, how did they we come through? We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Like I should be a new Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations Why can't to Krach come. Why can be a king? Or... Like, what? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Oh my god. The yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor is right. sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in like, this. This is a nice um, vision of how those two will rule whoever you choose. Like, one guy just wants to kill everyone, and the other is like, think, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. Dude. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. No, I like Tons her. I want to help her. on the walls. Because she wants to investigate what happened and the other guy just wants to kill people, so I, I, I like her more. And she's a girly, so I support my girlies. <laughs> what happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat and started chugging. Hi Hrothgar, welcome. His throat bulged <laughs> like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. Mm. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Dragborn do, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. Hmm. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the dream cave. Damn, I didn't think... Okay, this always happens in Witcher. I think I, I thought I would just come here, get my bounty, and, you know, that's it. And then it started the whole, like, different <laughs> quest. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. You notice how uh, Lugos' son died, yet he barely reacted. If a bunch of those people were um, candidates to the throne... Kind of sus, isn't it? All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. Something else, something earthy. Bears like honey before it's fermented. Strange. Hmm. People usually say they can't pronounce it. I mean, it's High Hrothgar, right? From Skyrim. 
We are nerds here. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half hmm. man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. Oh, No what? full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. The Mead. spine? <laughs> Meat with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. What was it called in Attack on Titan? The, the spine wine or something? It caused a transformation! Oh no! All the horns are empty. <laughs> Hmm. Wear bear. Bowl at each table. Yes, yeah, spinal in fluid. And only mead. Can I ask Yalmar some things? Uh -huh. Never mind. Name of Skyrim, I didn't play it. Oh, really? Okay, okay. I thought you were a big uh, Skyrim fan. <laughs> I'll trick it. Shit, no more than a kid. Mm, that's not a kid. But I mean, maybe, yeah. Uh... I guess we did interact with the other bear, so I don't think... Can we not do it? No? Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards... Mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. Oh. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. I mean, a fancy book? Nice. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Damn. Okay, who who is a stinkin'? I have a suspicious suspicion, but here, meat spiked with some kind of mushroom, and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were men who transform into bears. Uh huh. Berserkers. Yeah, it's my first playthrough. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Probably the entire, like, bucket was spiked with something. Um, and the person who spiked it knew that there would be, let's say, four werebears in this room. And you knew how to trigger it if they were werebears. So. Mead spiked with blood and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Hmm. I love Detective Quest so much. They're so fun. A Freer, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. First place Freer, nice. our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Hope you liked it. Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. Uh... Oh, I have it. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Grand cards can spoil things? Sarah wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? 
Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate marjoram were said to transform mm. into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Achievements are so Mardrum. fun. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. Or during. In the cellars, maybe. Like during Come the party? On. We could find some clues there. I mean, everyone was drunk, too. Maybe someone just had a little flask and just... <laughs> you never know. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Ooh. Yeah, I totally get that. I usually try to get all of the like collectible achievements and stuff. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow, but so does blood. Might say he got his wish. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> you can't prove it. I really hope Yalmar is doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Vodka. That's my reaction to vodka as well. Right behind you. Mm -hmm. the finest. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. Mm. What the? Whoa! Shit. The spirit! Spirit? We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Do I have to do something in here? Hold on. What, what am I? Oh! Quick. I'm out of here. <laughs> Come on, ma'am. My reaction to all alcohol. Okay, where is she? God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. No, Jack. This is a secret passage. One rarely used. Give me a second. Uh, bygone days. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No. But I have no witcher sense at my disposal. Yeah. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. No signs of struggle? Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Ink. <laughs> Someone walked through the mead. Uh oh! <laughs> Could you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Me hee hee! Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue Must nearby. Must have felt his to follow. Was in a hurry. Oops. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. 
Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Wait, is Arnvald his her brother? Hold on. Who is it again? <laughs> I'm so bad with names. Look, it's him. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Arn Oh, it's their servant. Okay. Arnvald. <laughs> go, go. Doubt he'll listen. You don't stand a chance. If he's a servant, I feel like hmm, he was either told by the brother, the the redhead, or he wants to invade the North Guard, just like the brother. Like so, because he's very aggressive, so he just sabotaged everything. So that he would win, because he doesn't think that the woman could win. Shit, he's okay. fast. Okay, there we go. Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Berna Bran, isn't it? Mm, you were never a good liar on Vault. Wait, I so all of the people in the room were the the, the, the crane <laughs> the cran people? I thought they were from different families and you had to just choose the, the head of the family for rule. So they were all cran? What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have mm. been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. Okay. Damn. What a stinky doo-doo. She would put, like throw them under the bus and like get rid of all the other competition and have one heir. Yeah, that is... Oh. Damn. <laughs> we need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. So much drama. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crait. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boonab Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Zerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars. You betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a Kaer Trolder ever since I remember. Doily, look a dog. Hmm. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You, yet another uncreate lucky. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? 
What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rod, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. This is like a You're reality right. show. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got Hello, one more welcome. piece of evidence. <laughs> a letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. You can it check the handwriting. It lacks my seal. It has your handwriting. Soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saris. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. No! You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. <laughs> Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! He stands silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Is she gonna jump? It's fun, Rika. I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. That was fast. And you, <laughs> Berna Bran, I sentence to death. Uh oh. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst. Oh. And sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Oh no. Oh. That's harsh, damn. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Hmm. When I had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. Mm. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Oh, we can do that? Let's go. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Do -do -do -do. We're just in time. They've already started. You like his armor? Yeah, he's a Giga Chad. Weren't long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Wait, because we helped her during the the research and stuff, she was automatically kind of she solved the stuff and oh, okay. I know some would see another in my place. <laughs> I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. Okay. I yeah. want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. 
And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 If I remember correctly, damn. No, you can't help both. You have to choose or none. Or I guess, yeah, it, it would be... Um, it's fun. Queen! Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. You can help both. Oh. Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them. No, together. she's talking like Drummond this. Folk might be a problem. <laughs> I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious to say the least. There's always been strength. Hello, welcome. Our clans, but I must try and talk to him. <laughs> Just might bring him around. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crocs mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? Oh, the brother? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Okay, let's talk to everyone because everyone is here all together. Is this the brawling warrior? Or maybe, yeah, it's some kind of a competition, I think. Hold on. Yellow more. Oh, that's him. You all right? So so. Anyway, you cut it. I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Die <laughs> true. Suppose if it had to be so. I'm glad it was Sarah. Imagine calling your sister a wench. <laughs> Not even a little proud of her. Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a huff, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. The wild hunts preparing to attack Kaer Morhen could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. I I think one of you guys told me, or I read somewhere, that this guy um, and Siri are, I think, together or something. Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Yarl can boast children like mine? Your childhood <laughs> friends? Oh no. Shame their mother. Maybe it was someone to see this. <laughs> Saris will make a good yeah. queen. Uh, oh, they were supposed to be thrown. Oh, the clans. okay. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. Okay, I talked to him, I think. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together. Thank you. I see you as one of our... I got the look of a... You've got the heart of an uncrate. Oh, okay, now I can tell him things. Your daughter. First woman to rule Skellige. She'll be a good mm. queen. Knows what she wants. Yeah. So what does she want? To unite all of Skellige's clans. A difficult task. No one has ever managed it. But Ceres is stubborn. Thinking long term, then. Think she'll succeed? She's got a powerful ally in me. 
the massacre during the feast. Know anything new? Thanks to you and Ceres, we know who's responsible. It's enough for me. Not gonna try to capture the Berserkers? They were but tools, Wolf. I'd rather sever the hand that wields the sword than merely break steel. What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is. But I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first. Now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here. And we'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilf Guardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not. Mm. We'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> Siri will be safe in Kiatrol. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me. But I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. We can get a mage that can teleport an army. Maybe take a, like Beautiful ten people at a time. Smith. <laughs> and drop them in there. King Erland done great. Erland Stonefist. So this is Winter's Blade. Mm. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now it's yours. I can sell it. I can't accept this. I can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much, at least. If you insist. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm doing good. I hope you're as well. May it serve you well. Send those <laughs> specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Oh, I guess if his uh, children are not going to be rulers, then he can help in Kaer Morin, right? Because there is no reason for him to stay there after, to stay here. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop this on his floor and leave. You didn't help his children? Really? Ooh. Damn. 